I think one of the interesting things about um, the first round of Mifid is that because it was entirely um, principles based, it meant that everything was inter op open to interpretation, so the regulators, banks and so forth could decide how, when and why they decided to um, play by the rules. So I think the thing that's very much coming with Mifid 2 is it's really going to come with some teeth now. And what we may see it as actually the forebear of a sort of European FSA, which really has the ability to legislate exactly what the rules are and how people are going to have to report, uh, particularly in terms of describing the sorts of trading activity that they're up to. On the one hand, these HFT firms have had a bit of a bashing from people that really don't understand what they do. And to my mind, what they're doing is simply using technology, computers, their own ingenuity to uh, take advantage of markets and, and fragmentation of liquidity across different venues. So, uh, on the one hand, they deserve to make a living, and, and, and to my mind, they probably deserve to um, you know, carry on and, you know, in, in much the same, and they're probably an increasing perfection into the market than an imperfection. I think where, where there is a problem, Katia, though, is if you are a big investor in a particular stock and you want to move a position and you look at the, the impact you may have in terms of the average daily volume of that stock, there's a lot of sort of artificial volume that's going to distort how, much, how impactful your, your trading might be. So th there is an issue there, but it's not the HFT guy's fault. Probably where Mifid went wrong is it started at the wrong end. It started with the trading end and the exciting end, and perhaps it should have started with getting one agreed lexicon for describing stocks, having one agreed clearing and settlement infrastructure, much like we have in the US. And perhaps what they, you know, perhaps my, my magic wand would say, let's have a much more homogenous um, infrastructure, um, as that's probably the single cause for friction in the markets at the minute.